so this is everything i'll be using for the pizza dough here is my yeast flour salt sugar milk this is all i'll be using so i'll go ahead and start mixing the dry ingredients first i put in the flour and here is the instant yeast and i'll go in with the salt and sugar i used half teaspoon of sugar and also salt so i went in with milk this milk is optional i just love the taste of milk in my pizza if you don't like it you can as well skip it and just use water and mix your dough so after adding the milk is not enough so i went ahead and added a little water so as to mix the dough very well so at this point it's becoming so sticky so i added vegetable oil to help me mix the dough properly so that's what i'm doing right here guys um i tried not to use a lot of bowls you know so after mixing it i brought it out and then poured in vegetable oil so i decided to use the sample to set it aside because i don't want to mess up a lot of bowls um if i mess up a lot of bowls i'll still be the one to wash it and you all know that your girl don't like washing plates <laughs> so i used my parchment paper to cover it and also use my kitchen towel to cover it properly and then set it aside come over here guys and let's start preparing the rest of other things here is my cheese this is the cheese i have currently in the house and i'm going to make use of it there's another cheese that one is softer and um easier to you know use i don't have that one i don't know the name but i don't have that one this is the one i have i have this and i also have um the one that is um in a powdered form this one so i'll be using it as well and also be using um the tuna so over here i'm trying to cut my garlic and also onion that i'll be using for the uh, sauce yeah so i'm done cutting i just added oil curry <laughs> see what happened guys <laughs> That's what content creators go through. You see, I'm. Um, mm -hmm. So I went ahead and added the onion and then stir fry and then went ahead to add my tomato paste. This is the tomato paste I'm using. This is the best paste for preparing pizza sauce. Yeah. So I put it in and, you know, stir it properly and allow the tomato to fry a little bit and over here i decided to bring out the oil in the tuna because i'll be pouring it in the sauce that i'm already frying as you all saw from the beginning i didn't add much oil um in the tomato sauce that i'm frying yeah so i went ahead and added the tuna oil yeah I like protein in my pizza. If I'm not using tuna, I'm using chicken or I'm using um, shredded beef. I don't just like my pizza to be plain like that. So I added so, um, sorry, pepper at this point. Pepper is optional, guys. If you don't like, you skip it. But I like that little peppery, you know, um, taste in my pizza. Yeah. I just want you all to know that this pizza is my own way. Yeah, my own way, my own um, recipe. <laughs> yeah. So, after preparing my sauce, I went ahead and brought out my dough. You all saw that it didn't rise, right? So, I went ahead to, you know, um, try to press it out to remove the air in the dough. Yeah. After which I brought out my pan, cleaned it, used that my parchment paper that I use in covering that dough that time, you know. Uh -huh. So went ahead to, you know, fold it inside. Just fold the dough inside just like so. You all can see what I'm doing. 
So when you're doing your just do this on a surface area or on a board. I'm just using my hand because I don't want to mess a lot of things up so that I don't get to start cleaning a lot of things after baking. So at this point, I've folded it enough. So all I did here is to you know spread it out a little bit so as to help me give it that round shape. I um used vegetable oil to you know touch my hands so it will enable me shape it without it getting to stick on my hands so this is what i'm doing you can use um your rolling pin to do this i decided to use hand because i don't want to soil the rolling pin so i don't get to wash I'm sorry I've not welcomed you guys on this video. Welcome to today's video. Yeah, I decided to just go straight to the point without wasting anybody's time, you know. So at this point, I'm done spreading it and giving it the shape I want. So I went ahead to use fake to pierce it just to take out the bubbles as an air bubbles. And I went ahead to put it in the oven for just three minutes and this is it i brought it out and i'm using the pizza sauce on it right now just to you know coat the surface for the first time yeah so after which i went ahead to use the um shredded cheese this is the first one i'm using the one that is in a powdered form I'm using it first, just spread it out. So feel free to use any cheese of your choice. Sometimes I use a uh, mozzarella cheese, but I don't have mozzarella cheese at this present time. So I decided to use what I have. So at this point, I went in with my tuna. Yeah. I like protein in my pizza. I just like protein in my pizza. Either chicken, either fish, or shredded meat. Anything I have that is protein. Will I say protein or that is animal? <laughs> I will just add. Yes. So I went in with the other shredded cheese as well. Though. So after adding it, I'll put it in the oven and here is the vegetable I want to add. Feel free to add any vegetable of your choice. You can add spinach, you can add cabbage if you want. If you don't want, you can also leave it like that. So I just brought out the pizza and then add the vegetable. Yeah, I decided to add the vegetable now so that the vegetable doesn't overcook. So I'll just spread everything all the vegetable i know this vegetable looks too much right yeah that's how i want it if you don't want your own to be this um much you can as well just add few and i went ahead to add the little um shredded cheese again then put it in the oven and voila this is it i allowed it to bake for about um five minutes again and my pizza is ready can you see that can you see that um, i don't find my pizza cutter tire i don't know where my kids get it because they've been carrying it around for the past few days i don't find them tire i decided to use knife jerry so this is my pizza can you see my homemade pizza try it and thank me later this tastes so good guys this is so good it's even better than some of the pizza my husband used to buy here honestly i tried this the first time just like so and it came out nicely and i decided to share this recipe with you all just try it try it and thank me later and here is my baby boy enjoying the pizza. This one, no, they joke with pizza. He likes pizza, eh? That's why I always, you know, prepare it this time around for him since he loves it so much. I prefer making it at home.
for him to you know eat to his satisfaction you know see him enjoying it so if you've watched up to this point thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to my channel okay feel free to share this video and try this recipe just try making it just like so and thank me later mm? bye i'll see you